All right, looks like we may have finally got a fish. He's still on here. This pole went down pretty good. Is that red one? Drift as far as out there. Yeah, he's still on there. Actually, that balloon running. He's pulling. Oh, he's a good sized fish too. There we go. It's been. Oh, he was a ways out there. so we're not even gonna try to take the boat out but that's good for balloon fishing so we got some balloons tied on here we got some goldfish we picked up from the bait shop up the road and uh we know there's a channel out here that we've had success in before but at the time of the year this is late january and we had a warm-up today it's uh, in the 60s so we're gonna take advantage of that and see if there's anything in this area hopefully we can get on some big blues that i know ellsworth has produced for us before in the past so really hoping for a good day today you know, like always, we're going to wait out here because this water is really shallow and these balloons being tied up like they are, they're going to drag and wait out here and then cast these out and I hope there's enough wind to drag that out until it's free and move. If it doesn't seem like it's moving very much because the wind break from all the trees behind me, something like that will tie the balloon up a little shorter. But it looks like that balloon's moving already. So we're gonna let drag out and leave these bells open till these drift way out there. And they're gonna drift a little to the east as well. It's coming out of the south southwest. So there's balloons are gonna be moving hopefully in the northeast direction. We got five rods we're gonna set out. And hope we don't get too snagged up or anything, see if they'll make it out there. Got all five of these poles and balloons drifted out as far as these lines will let them go. Got two of them made it out there pretty good ways. Three of them are about the same distance. So. All right, looks like we may have finally got a fish. He's still on here. This pole went down pretty good. This is that red one. Drifted farthest out there. Yeah, he's still on there. I see that balloon running. I'm going to go ahead and lock this or take this bell off yeah he's pulling oh he's a good sized fish too there we go yeah it's been a good minute since we got to catch a fish hopefully i get to land this guy let me back up a little bit make sure my hair looks good yeah he's solid i don't this far out fighting the fish and the balloon can be kind of a chore make you think you got a monster on there and it's just a five pound fish but it feels good to reel something in though hopefully when these other poles go down and caleb can reel something in peyton can reel something in these were goldfish that we picked up from the bait shop and it's been slow, it's been real slow. Maybe with the sun starting to set, it might be picking up. Yeah. We was gonna take off in about half an hour. Yeah, we ain't got much daylight. We got a little bit of a walk to get back to the truck. This area we can drive to when the lake's low, but it's been up. Last couple times we tried to come out here, even in the summer or whatnot, it was, it was up too high and it's still up too high to drive down here. So we had to walk it maybe I don't know, four or five hundred yards. There's some guys out here behind us. There's a nice four wheeler trail, off road trail. Yeah, that's a good size fish. See how he's digging hard to the side? He might. I'm trying to keep him out of it. That is a good size fish. He crossed that line. I can see it slacking up. He's pulling drag and giving me a good little fight. I got my forearm burning already. I 
don't know if he's still in that line or not. I hate getting tangled up braid and done. So I'm hoping he's out of that line. Wet, tangled up braid, oh, that's the worst. Yeah, I think this is a 50 pound, it's either a 50 or 65 pound braid with a 50 pound leader. This is one of my smaller, cheap little ugly stick catfish poles. None of these catfish rods are all that pricey, but I think it's a little $50 combo you get from Walmart. And I've landed some fish on these. I got two of them and they've, they've landed some double digit fish. Oh, we're about to make another one. Once I get him up where he's beached, I'll walk up and try to grab a hold of him. I know he was a ways out there. He don't want to give it up either. He, he's still fighting it all the way to the end. Usually whenever you get them this close in, you're dragging them. They're already getting up to fight. But this guy's still pulling. I don't know get him up there. If we don't catch one fish, if we don't catch one fish, I'm glad we caught this guy. Yeah, there he is. You got a scale in the back? Yeah. I got a... He hooked barely in him. Yeah, it wasn't on there that great. Yeah, he's gonna go 21.73, 21, yeah, 21.73 was the highest I'm seeing here. So, 21.6, let's get that fish to Yeah. In a year. So we're gonna get him back in the water, see if we can maybe catch another one before we run out of time. 